reason I am still single and such. Every girl I've found, you rejected all. And I don't want to marry anyone without your approval. Okay. <clears throat> I have found one who is completely a woman of your choice. Yes, this one is what you want. It's alright. Just let me know anytime you have space to come, then I will invite her over. Once you approve this one, then I am finally married. Okay, sister. Ah, né? Clique, clique. Olga? Tom. Olga? Ah, when did Susan say she'll be coming back? Oh, Olga, uh, she said weekend. That means uh, in two days. Olga, oh, okay. uh, uh, without due respect, I must say this. I like Susan more than <coughs> every other girl that has been coming here. <laughs> I understand. I, I know the feeling. So I agree with you. She's, she's a wonderful person. She has a lot of qualities that the other girls don't seem to have. You know, there's something about her. But the woman I'm going to marry must connect with my mother. Connect with your mother? Yeah. How do you mean, boss? Before my mother died, she told me how I will identify the woman I'm supposed to marry when I see her. So I'm still searching for that woman. Boss, this one is uh, above me. <laughs> I understand. It's, it's also kind of beyond me. Yeah, but I know exactly what my mother said, and I'll find that woman. Now, it may take time, but I'll find her. All right, boss. <laughs> What is this doing here? I'm so sorry, my it's mine. It's yours. What is it? Why is it here in my living room? It's my bracelet, ma. Your bracelet from where? I I, I left it here because when I was cleaning, I couldn't allow soap to touch it. That was why. I, I... You couldn't allow what soap? Why? This is scary. What is it doing here? Who gave it to you? I'm sorry, my it was given to me by a friend and my and a mother, and it has a specific instruction. I know it looks fetish, but it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, ma, for keeping it here. I don't want it here. I thank you for knowing that I don't like fetishes. Now, take it out. I don't want it anywhere around me. Take it out. Please. I'm sorry, ma. Out. Wait. What does she mean by giving to her by a friend and a mother? What does that mean? Sister, I thought you only wear this dress and white thing when you're in the village performing your traditional stuff. I'm surprised you came looking for me like this. I do not understand what you mean by like this. I am easy wine. And I'm easy wine everywhere I go. I agreed. It's just that if the woman I want to marry finds out that I'm from a fetish home, she might decide not to marry me. Is it not better? If you had agreed to do what you're supposed to do, maybe by now you would have been so big. But you call us fetish, and that is why nothing works for you. Sister, please, can we not do this? I mean, you are here for something important. Uh, I 
This is this is my elder sister Unako. Your what? My elder sister, yeah. Stay right there. Sister, have you seen what, what I was saying? You just scared the love of my life away. Come on, sister. What is all this? Shut up! And appreciate the gods of Akama that came here with me to show you the evil you call your woman. What are you saying? You see that thing that just left here now? She came with portion of evil to cage you and to make you marry her at all cost. Sister, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I am prepared to marry that woman because I love her. But you can no longer marry her because she's compromised. You called me to come and see her. I have seen her. But you cannot marry her. And that's final. Woman of my dreams, Jay, my wifey. Come please. First of all, your meal is amazing. It's so delicious. Why did you learn how to make such meal? Thank you, madam. <laughs> well, I have you forgotten that I'm a village girl. Oh please, forget about being a village girl. Trust me, if I had this, I'd be eating it every single day. <laughs> well, how can you be eating swallow every day? I know how to make other things too. Oh please, whatever you make for me, I will eat it. Because this one made me remember my grandmother. This tastes exactly like the one I eat in the village. <laughs> Oma, you, you know how to cook, so please don't sound like you don't know how to cook because you're an excellent cook. Ada, I know I know how to cook, right? But there's something different in this particular meal. It's so nice, thank you. Thank you. Alright, did you clean up? Alright, thank you. Thanks, Ada. Is it that someone swore for you or what? No one swore for me. Henrietta, be careful with what you say to me. I am not in a good mood right now. Oh, shut up, Angela, and allow someone to talk some sense into you. The rubbish you went to do with that man of Satan made you lose Shidera. And now that you've gotten another man on a plate of gold, resorted to that same man of Satan? Please, Henrietta, can you stop blaming me? Okay? I thought I was doing the best for me. I thought it was the right thing to do. I mean, I was only securing him for myself. And going diabolic is the only thing you remembered. The second news will go far more than the first one. <laughs> and bet me, <laughs> when it does, <laughs> you won't find love in this town again. I reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. You're the one who won't find love in this town. Oh. What kind of nonsense talk is that one? Can you stop making a fool of yourself by calling the name of Jesus Christ? <laughs> Just go back to that man of Satan and seduce him to be your man. Mm -hmm. You know you're a big fool for saying that. Massive fool. Just leave my house. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Leave my house. Get out. Leave my house. Go, go! <laughs> Have I ever been to your own house? Hmm. Liking is an understatement. Auntie Susan loves the soup. And she even says she can be eating it every day. 
I know. See, I even made a whole color of it and she took it out, but I don't know who she gave it to. Eh? No, don't even go there. Auntie Susan is an angel. And honestly, I'm so happy she brought me to this city. Because I don't even know what I could have been doing. Honestly, I'm really indebted to her. Um, not yet. I haven't started the medicine yet. But I know soon God will do something. I know. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for checking out. I'm going to keep you posted on development. Okay. Alright. Bye. <laughs> One. You are welcome. Highly welcome. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, Auntie Susu, this one you you came when my yoga have just went on a vacation. I'm having this feeling that uh, I'm going to be the only one to enjoy the soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's will only be in your dreams. <laughs> but don't worry. You take some from the soup, mm -hmm. and the remaining will go into the freezer. Chidera uh, uh, does not like anything frozen. He prefers everything fresh. Mm. So I'm thinking this one is for I hear you, not with this soup. You see this soup? Mm. Don't worry. When I'm done warming it, you and your guy won't even know it's coming from the freezer. Trust me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is special. You are number one. I won't argue <laughs> with you. Let me even call him and tell him that you are here. Alright, go ahead. It's protocol. I know. <laughs> Do your job. Hello, Maoga. Ah. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Eh, guess what? Auntie Susu, the number one, is here. And she came with a special soup. Maoga. The way she's hyping this soup, you need to be here. Eh? Yeah. Okay, sir, I'm waiting. Onyego! <laughs> Protocol. I'm not going to join you in reading meaning into this. All I know is that our friend is in love. What kind of love? Hmm? What kind of love? Listen, Obi. You and I know Chidera very well. I mean, you know he's escapades with women. He doesn't have time for women. All of a sudden, one, one Susan from nowhere shows up. I mean, who is even this Susan? A vacation that we have planned for weeks. All of a sudden cancelled because one Susan showed up with a pot of soup. Come on, guy. This is no clear now. You know clear. Okay, let us even believe that she used something on him. That same Kayamata I was telling you about. Is it not good? Is it not a good thing? How do you mean? Chidera needs a woman in his life. I mean, at his age, he has acquired so much money and made credible investments. He needs a wife, man. And you think the kind of wife he needs is this one? I mean, this one that has this amount of grip on him, right? Let me tell you, if Chidera mistakenly marries this woman, we've lost him. We've lost him for good. 
Sly, what is important is that he marries her and they are happy. That's the most important thing. And your guys are being so fuma because they know the lot of money. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. Baby, this soup is delicious. <laughs> Believe me, it tastes just like my mother's food. Really? Yes. I'll tell you, if my mother wasn't dead, I believe you actually got this soup from her. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'm so glad you like it. You're a fantastic cook. Thank you, darling. Oh, now my head is going to grow big. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. You want more? Give me this every day. Okay. Every day. And even something better. Mm -hmm. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> See, young man, for you to have this level of concern, it only means you have evidence to back your case. Um, Chief, I do not have any evidence. I am just worried because he's my friend. In fact, we are good friends. I have lost count of the number of times I discussed this with him. But he never showed any he never show any interest. But uh, finally, he is now interested in somebody. And uh, we must support him. Um, Chief, it's not as if I am not supporting him. Of course, he's my friend. Okay, I have to stand by him. But um, the point is, I do not want his interest to be under any kind of... Um, Influence or something. Nothing is hidden under the sun, my dear. Even if it's under any influence, they must start something first. Along the line, everything will be flowed into the line. Yes. Mother, I am confused. I am in a dilemma right now, Mother. I still remember vividly how you warned me that I must not make a wrong decision on who to settle down with as my wife. I still remember how you told me that getting married to the wrong woman may spell my doom. Mother, I am confused. Susan here, yeah, Susan, Susan is homely loving and caring, but she's yet to key into the standard you set. If Susan is the one, mother let me know. If she's not the one, do let me know as well. I've kept her for years and it's beginning to look as if I'm wasting her time. Oh. Yeah, I'm hungry. Get me that soup. I want to eat it again. Uh, well, that means uh, I have to try my luck and prepare it. Is it finished? Yes, boss. Uh, but if my boss wants the soup, why not? I'll prepare his own soup. Is it no soup? You cannot prepare that one. Yes, I know your strength, Annie. Just leave that soup. Give me something else. Of course. Hmm? Yeah. Give me something simple, please. Bread or egg. Some something simple you can do. Leave that soup. Hmm? Okay, boss. Uh, I'm coming. You can fry egg and bread. Something very simple. All right, boss. Calm down, baby. Calm down. 
down. This is this is my elder sister Unako. I I I don't know what you've come to do in my house. Had it been you didn't get yourself compromised, I would have allowed him to marry you. But I am here to warn you. What have I done? Do not make the mistake of interrupting me again. You know what you're planning. And that is why I've arrived to warn you. Now listen, he is my brother. The only brother that I have. He didn't walk up between you both because, you know why? Because you're wired into evil. Now take my advice. Forget about him and leave. And if you come after him like you're planning, I will kill you. Read my lips. I will kill you. Oh my God. Are you, how, did, how did she find me? How did she know where I live? the one Madam Susu said that she's coming? Yes. My name is Ada. I'm her house help and oh. I'm here to make our local soup. Local soup? That's no issue. You'll do me a favor. Hmm? Okay. That local soup, you'll teach me how to prepare it. You know my yoga likes it. There won't be a problem, sir. You're welcome. I have asked questions about that woman mm -hmm. and confirmed that she's not just an ordinary reason why, but one who is powerful enough to do exactly what she has said. I, I never said she cannot do anything. At least I know what her strong aura did to me the first time we met. But what I don't understand is why she's interested in my affairs. She's interested because you've decided to destroy her brother. Just listen to that woman and stay away from that guy before that woman destroys you. Have I done something wrong? No, no, you, you did nothing wrong. Actually, I came to watch you cook. Oh, okay, then it will be ready soon. Thank you for accepting to come do this. You're welcome, sir.
How do I tell Susan that her house help is the one I've been waiting for? How? She will be mad at me, definitely. But I just have to say it. Why is he staring at her like that? I just hope he's not catching feelings for her already. I will not take that from him. No way. Why do you ask? Um, that's enough. Ada, I'll take it off from here. You can get back to the shop. No, run along. Now, run along. Okay. Go. Okay. What was that all about? staring lustfully at her. What was it about? Lustfully? Mm -hmm. I saw it. I was staring at your girl lustfully. You just insulted me. How? Oh, I know what you're doing now. You just want to turn everything around. Chidera, whatever you're planning, it can never work, and it will never work. Now you want to deny it, right? You don't want to eat anymore, because I put the truth in your face. What's that all about? This is why my spirit has been so at peace with Susan. She was meant to bring my wife to me. Yes. <laughs> this is serious. How do I make her understand that Ada is the one for me? How do I do this? How? I met Chief Magnus. And he told me what you came to his office to say. Come on, Sly, how could you? How? Have you bothered to ask yourself if Chidera finds out that you've been moving around discussing him? Have you bothered how he will feel? Listen, Ubi. I don't think Chidera will be angry with me if he finds out what I did. I only acted because I'm a concerned friend. And we have, we have discussed this already. I asked you to leave them to build whatever they are building. And, Obi, I remember discussing this with you. I mean, I remember discussing my fears with you. What if the foundation of what they are building is compromised? Have you bothered to ask yourself that? Then allow the man to figure it out and do something about it. Please, you, you, you need to stop this before it turns into something else. Uncle, ah. honestly, my aunt is going to be really mad at me if she finds out I'm here. I see. All right, I'll go straight to the point. Ada, you are my wife. Yes. Yes, you are. I know it will sound strange to you, but you'll find out very soon. That's why I called you, so we can get to know each other. Because I know, I believe that very soon you will become my wife, officially. Uncle, I don't 
don't understand. You just bent me three days ago, so how can you be saying such things to me? I'm not your wife, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Relax. No one, relax. I, I won't hurt you. The bracelet that you're wearing. That bracelet you wear all the time. It's a special gift and it proves to me that you are my wife. You're getting me really confused, Uncle. Because I never told anyone else about this bracelet other than my auntie. I know about the bracelet. No, you don't. Uncle, please, what do you want from me? First things first. Can you stop calling me uncle? Call me Chidera. Hmm? Talking about the bracelet. I'm very sure you didn't buy it. It was given to you by someone. True or false? Who told you that? The bracelet you wear was given to you by a woman. A special woman. She picked interest in me when I was growing up and took me in as a daughter. Her name was Meli. She was the one that gave me the bracelet. I see. Meli. The Meli you talk about. She must have told you something when she gave you the bracelet. Yes, she did. <coughs> She told me it would get me great fortune. And honestly, it has been doing that. But she didn't tell me it was going to get me a husband like you're proposing. Well, the woman you mentioned, Millie, she was my mother. You are the chosen one. I die, I'm searching no more. I wanna be with you because you're the one for me. How is this possible? Me, Ada, his wife? <laughs> Nem Mili never told me this bracelet was going to bring me a man, let alone a husband. How do I even face Auntie Susan? How do I tell her that Uncle Chidera is asking me out? God, please help me. I have never gotten into any boyfriend and girlfriend issue in my life. And now this. Is it about your health? Are, are you dying? What's the problem? Can you please talk to me? I'm so scared now. I will. Your health? What's I the... will. Okay. I'll talk. But... Please don't be mad at me. And don't be mad at anyone else. Okay. Baby, please. Talk already. I'm getting so scared. And, and your delay is killing me. Just say something. What's the problem? Are you... Are you all right? Um, I've thought about us. Okay. You know, everything, the time we spent together, and I've realized that. You're not the woman for me. What? How? What? Wait, how? Why? I, I don't mean to break your heart, okay? But I thought about us deeply. And 
I don't think you're meant to be my wife. Why are you saying this to me? Chidera, why would you bring me here to say this to me? What did I ever do wrong? Are you seeing someone else? When did you start seeing this person? What's the, what did I do wrong? Look, we've, we've been together for a while. And I mean, it's, it's been wonderful, you know. It's been out of this world, actually. And that's why I hung your portrait in my room, because you mean so much to me. But I don't think we're meant to be together. Why are we not meant to be together? Why? What's the problem? I think you came into my life to play a role, a vital role. And that role is to deliver a package, my mother's package of a wife to me. Wait, what does that mean? Huh? The package, what's that? You've actually done it. <sighs> yes, you have delivered my mother's package and I will reward you handsomely. Damn you. Yes. Damn you, Chidera, and that reward. Why would you tell me this? I knew it. God, what was I thinking? I was just too blind. I knew it. You were just pretending all along. You bring me here to tell me that I'm not the woman meant for you? Are you dreaming? Are you sick? Well, that will be over my dead body. You will not marry any other woman aside me. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear anything. Susan, listen now, okay? from being okay. <sighs> you know, my boyfriend Chidera, he, he invited me over and I went there only for him to tell me that he's found the woman he wants to get married to and the woman is certainly not me. Ada, you know what I've been through. <gasps> for this Chidera, you know what I've done for him. I don't know. I do not know why me. How can that be? Is it that you've just been with him to waste your time? Exactly. Exactly. That's just the answer. I mean, I wasn't even meant to go deliver the, the mother's gift of a wife, and and I. And wait, Ada. Uh, you've been the only one I've I've taken to his house to prepare that local soup. Right. Right. Auntie Bo, it has nothing to do with me. I don't Ada. understand. Hey, Ada! Ada! Ada, you see you. Ada, you're the one. Auntie, how can you say hey. that? Ada! Ada, why would you do this to me? Auntie, I don't know what you're talking about. Ada, I swear. Ada, I swear I will kill you. Auntie, why would you do this to me? Auntie, you're the one. Wait, 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 wait
Kidera, what is going on here? What is this? Ada, what's going on? I came to see my wife today. She's the one I want to marry. <laughs> are you high? Like, are you on cheap drugs? What are you saying before my house help? Who do you want to get married to? Who did this to you? Huh? What's all this? Listen, Ada. Ada, I swear you will die in my hands. I'll Sister, kill you, Ada. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't want to I hear don't that answer. take what he bought for me, please. I hear you. But then what are you doing here? <laughs> Ada, trust me. If you touch me, I'll kick your face. I'll make life a living hell for you. Let's bet it. I said, please, I'm not done with you. you. Think, I am not done. The last thing you will do is to say anything that will make me feel like I'm the problem here. You know what? I'll just end the call. No need. What? You don't even know anything. Listen up. The girl in question called Ada was my help. And I was the one that took her to the house to prepare some local soup. I felt that my man would like it. After that, suddenly he started lusting over her. And then he bottled up courage to tell me and look me in the eyes and tell me that I'm not the one. That he wants to get married to her. Can you imagine that? Okay, okay, fine. Whatever you have to say, I don't want to know. If you don't want to help me, you guys should just stay on your own. Bye! Sense. I'll have to do this my own way. If you guys don't want to help me. to thank for my amazing glow. I just hope that our bond won't be broken by another woman someday. Never. Never. It will never happen. I am yours forever and you are mine forever. That's amazing, babe. Okay, um, we are running late. We need to get going. All right. All right, darling. Um, all right, clear, clear. Is this you? Hi, Monga. Women are really unpredictable when it comes to beauty. Hey, <laughs> girl, This guy. I will take that as a compliment. Thank you. Dude, we're going out. All right. Take care of the house. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah, go. <laughs> When you are still young and fresh, and you bully bend, no, 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 Look, you and I know Chidara very well. You know what is going to happen. He's not only going to dump her, he's going to use her. Dump her and throw her out like every other, I mean, like he did to other girls. What are you saying? Look at this guy. Yo. I mean, how, how, how is it your business? It is my business, Obi. It is my business because we call him our friend. Obi, very soon people will start thinking that we are all the same. You know they say best of same feather flock together. Do you think we use girls and dump them? What's wrong with you? Sly, if you have decided to judge a man because of his activities with women, then make it personal. Do not drag me into it. Are you coming with me or not? When you 
I was thinking that Auntie Susu was the number one. Our number one. But now I have seen the real one. Away, Bukao. If Mawaka does not marry this one, I will know that something is very, very wrong. I will have no other option than to take him to my village in Anam so that they will give me a title of Moke Zuike. Huh? He must marry this one. I know say me, I don't tell you this thing before. As for me, oh, Shidela is a nobody. He is nothing. He just be man where get bolak, carry and they walk out the whole place, the time where he go suck at him. He's nothing. You he hear me? Not be the kind man where find girl like all of you people where they here go, they kill yourself. No, 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 no. Well, I'm not willing to kill myself all because of Shidela. All I'm saying now is that we need to teach him a lesson of his life. That's all I'm saying. What is the game? He has made his choice. Fine. We should just forget about him and move on. Exactly how I feel. Thank you. We all have made good money from this guy. Exactly. And if he decides to settle down for some classless girl, I think that shouldn't be a problem. You guys are not getting it. He's settling down not just for any girl, but the girl, that bush girl I brought from the village. The same one that was my help. The same person I took to his own house. Come on, it's an insult and I cannot take it. I can't. You must take it in one name we get take here. You must take it. And somebody here said that uh, 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 he said we should go. Therefore, we should go. Who talk? Now like you are be, yes. you did here, you get sense. Ah, Another you. person come talk, say money. Say we don't collect money from her. May we leave her. Okay, now you, yeah. my sister, you know, get sense. Receive sense in Jesus' name. Somebody come talk, say we go teach and lesson. Who be that? Now you. A lesson teacher. You want teach and lesson. Abi, which lesson you want teach him? No, tell me. Which kind of lesson you want teach Shidela? Person where talk say you no need you again. As you find rich, now you want die put on top Shidela. For waiting now. Eh? No, tell me why you want die put on top there. I'm it's okay. shocked. We've, we've heard. Um, I okay. am so shocked. I mean, why are you girls chickening out? Do you know what it took me? To look for all of you, locate you people. It took me hell and back. All to have this meeting and you all are saying this. Listen, we need to think. We need to strategize on what exactly to do to this man. If we don't teach Chidera a big lesson, he will continue to do this. And men, other men in the future, I mean more and more men, will still do the same thing to other ladies. And we don't want that, do we? I beg you, let that be the headache. Exactly. Yes, he went there with us. Mm -hmm. We made money from him. Fine. We should just see that a part of mistake we made as a young women and move on. As for me, my bank is filled up. God bless you. That's my face. Find me money, find me money. Who's that? Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Mm. Asked me to come wake you. Okay, why? I don't know, but are you not supposed to be in your office by now? That's what you told me you do all the time, and that's why you're straight on this phone. So why stop now? I wanted to go to the office and work, but I was tired. Seems I overslept. Alright, dear, just sit 
time, do your thing, and make a lot of money today. If you need something, I'll just be my room. Alright. Good night. Jesus Christ, what am I seeing? Just 20 minutes left. What am I seeing? 20 minutes, just 20 minutes for me to confirm confirm my account details for the remittance from this company. Jesus, Jesus, thank God she woke me up. Oh. Thank God Adam woke me up. Uh, uh, Alright, yes, confirmed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What am I saying? <laughs> Jesus! He made me. <laughs> I've been waiting to confirm this, this remittance from this company. If I didn't do this right now, it would have taken me one year, one year to get to my turn. But because of you, I got it. Oh my God, baby, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, darling. Thank you. Come, come, let me, let me show you. Ah. See, usually I don't show women my account details. So I don't show them money anytime money enters, but because it's you. the light that lights up my world, oh. just my world, and I am ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Me too. I love you. I love you too, love babe. You. <laughs> I love you so much. What will I do without you? Okay. Nothing, right? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling, come here. Me? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is very fresh, as you like it. Good, 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 good. I trust you. Uh, Monica, would you be needing any other thing? Uh, maybe just water. But ask, ask my wife what she wants. Uh, number one, do you need anything? No, it's fine. If I need something else, I'll let you know, okay? It's okay. okay. So water. Anything you want, tell me. Yeah. No, it's fine. Onyego, Onyego. They say no, can't take it. Are we expecting anybody? Mm -hmm. No, but go check. Okay. Go and check. Yeah, Everything is for you, darling. Mm -hmm. Everything. Why? Morning, I'm okay. I'll probably do oranges. I don't want to do yeah, I'll take oranges. Everything for you, my love. Go, 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 go inside. Come on. Go inside. Sit down there. Ah. What's the problem? Go 
Holy. I'm Inspector Vanaba Santos from Era Command. You are Chidera, I guess. Yes, sir. <laughs> You are needed in our office now for questioning. Question. Now you are needed in our office. Questioning for what? Don't ask me question. I said you are needed in our office now for questioning. Questioning for what? What did I Move do? Move him! What's the problem? Go, you too! No, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Don't question me. You are needed in our office now for questioning. Go. Move. I don't have a problem with officers of the law doing their jobs. What I have a problem with is you invading my home like criminals. It's against the law. I know my rights. It's wrong. Are you ready to talk now? Or you want us to apply force? Apply force to do what? Apply force to achieve what? First, you invaded my home like criminals. Then you arrested me and my house manager. Picked us up like, like your kidnappers. To achieve what? Huh? You seize my phones, you seize my laptop. What do you want? You've searched them. I've told you countless times, I am not a fraudster. Alright? I'm an online businessman. I deal in stock. That's what I do. Okay? I'm an online businessman. I have a registered company. Registered online business. I don't do fraud. Check me from now to the end of the world, I don't do fraud. Listen, I will not take this lightly. I know my rights. You cannot intimidate me in this country. You cannot intimidate me in this world. It will not end the normal way. Shut up! You expect me to believe this rubbish and this nonsense you are saying? Eh? I will deal with you. Officer, you have my laptops. You have my phones. Check all of them. If you see anything incriminating, charge me to court. Mm -hmm. You think you are smart, Ali? You think you are wise? But don't worry. We will know who in this town. I will show you. No problem. <laughs> Can I have my phones, please? I need to make a call. I need to tell my people that I'm in police custody. Please. We all see Yahoo Yahoo people everywhere. You have not arrested any of them. It's my guy you come to arrest. Respect yourself and shut up your mouth now. If not, I will throw you inside the cell. Throw him into the cell for what? What did he do? Huh? People see criminals every day. You will not arrest them. Throw him into cell for doing what? Can I have my phone, please? Let me make a call. Chidera, the online guru. How are you today? I'm not fine, sir. What? What happened? I've been arrested and detained by the police, sir. I don't know what I did to them. All right, give the phone to one of the officers. Don't they know you in this town? Okay, sir. My chairman, Chief Magnus of Magnus Constructions Limited, wants to speak to you. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Apart from being the president of Magnus uh, Construction Limited, I'm also the state chairman of the ruling party. Yes. May I know why you have arrested and detained this legitimate businessman? We, we have a petition against him, sir. Have you been able to conduct an investigation before going in to embarrass him? We have not embarrassed him, sir. We invite him to we invited him to our office today for questioning, sir. See, I understand what you guys in the field continue to do. But do what is required before I will call the AIG or even the IG. Yes. I will do the next one, sir. Do that immediately because I am not going to say anything again. Give back the phone to the owner. Why did you tell me you are connected to the party chairman? Did you give me a chance to speak? Just give me a minute, I'll be back. Ah, sir. I will not let this slide, including one at Marka. I will make sure I take you people to a central deity in Anam. To all of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My love, how are you? Oh, thank God. How you doing? Have they said anything? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't bother yourself, I'm fine. We're fine, I just called to let you know that everything is under control. Take good care of yourself, okay? I'll see you soon. Alright, dearie, see you soon. 
Love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. You have been released. Thank you, officer. Oh, wait, wait, please. I'll be. Please. Between me and you. I need to know who set me up. Please. I need to know who dropped these damaging allegations against me. I'll give you one million now. Tell me, please. Susan. Susan Okoreke. Why you no one leave Shidela again? Why you no one leave the guy now? The guy don't choose the person where he wants. What's it happen? You know why you're saying this, Judith? Because the insult didn't come directly to you. I'm talking about three whole years I gave this man my body and he chooses to, to, to pay me back with taking my maid at that end. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Do you know how many years where that shit that guy don't knock me at my Eh? They carry my leg up, they carry and down, they throw away one here, throw away one there, they shift my room, but they arrange them back. Do you know? I don't kill myself. Oh. My dear men plenty everywhere. Oh, you both people even talk and say there are many oceans in the fishes. The fishes in the anyone are beg. Men plenty everywhere. As you find rich, now you want die put on top one man. You know, no same man suppose line up like this, they beg you, will you marry me? Now you day here, you won't kill yourself because of one man. No try ammo. She then I don't explain the spirituality. Where they inside what you need to do. Oh please. Are you I I don't believe it. I don't believe whenever he spreads them that his mother said this or his mother said that. I do not believe it. He has had it all planned out from the onset. Mm. Listen. This guy planned to humiliate me in this town and I will not let it slide. No! Oh yeah now, go carry him with chain. No, go marry him. Go kneel down, propose to him. Will you marry me? What do they worry you? Find a girl like you. Say to them misbehave. Me, I don't move on, no. Yes! As you see me so, I don't advise myself. Now you make it seem like I calm down. I know they shake again. I know they fear again. I know they cry again. I don't calm down. So this advice where they knock you now, now the same advice where I don't sit down by myself, knock and to myself. I don't advise you. Well, keep the advice to yourself because I'm not buying it. I tell you that this tell before. Someone lied to the police about me. Told them I have an office in my house where I commit online fraud. Wow. Well. Honestly, I thought as much. But who would that be? Yes. You know I'm not good at guessing who. Your mother. No way. And to Susan. Yeah. Yes. Susan O'Kirk. Exactly what the officer told me. Her plan was to send me to prison. No, 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 no. This is so disheartening. Why would she do that? This seems Susan told me you were the one who gave her life meaning. So why would she want to set you up? I know exactly.
lazy tooth. This is the perfect time to strike. What do I do? Run her over? Ah, but people will come after me. Oh, I just know what to do to this ingrate. But I have serious problem with the men of law allowing themselves to be dragged into useless misunderstanding with civilians. This is how officers lose relevance and will not allow that to continue. I agree with you, Chief, and that is why I'm here. I'm sorry for what happened, and I can assure you it will not happen again. Why not take time and investigate that young man? You will see he's one of the men that need to be encouraged in this country. I already did that. And I see he's genuine. That Good! Is, as you have said, he's genuine. Good! And thanks for your intervention. <gasps> thanks, Chief. It's not everybody you, are, you, you arrest and detain. Chidera, don't tell me you called me to remain silent. Are you done enjoying your ada? You lie. Chidera, you lie. What's that supposed to mean? Can you listen to yourself? That I should respect who? As what? A bush girl I brought from the village to work for me as, as my help? Huh? That I should respect? You must be out of your mind. You must be. Do your worst, Chidera. Listen to me. If I cannot have you, no one else will. Oh, please, please, please. I said no. The answer is no. I will continue to frustrate Ada until she leaves. What's all this? Like, you, you, you want me to throw away three whole years? Huh? You want me to throw it away? You must be kidding, Chidera. We are already enemies. You cost it, so be it. Chidera, do your worst, like I said. Listen, I was living my life to the fullest until you walked in, and I'll be so fine, even in your absence, okay? But as you see, that stupid girl, that traitor, the betrayer, Ada, ha, trust me, I will hunt her out of this town. She'll have no choice than to run away by herself. Trust me. How low can you get? You're partnering with that low life to attack an innocent girl that did you no wrong. <laughs> Henrietta, you know your problem is the fact that you like to use words without actually knowing the meaning of those words. Who are you calling innocent? Hmm? I am calling her innocent because she is innocent indeed. Oh. That girl never schemed to have Shidera. 
he saw her and fell in love with her. Why are you partnering with Susan, that frustrated loser, to, to chase her away? Oh, 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 now you actually said the right word. We are going to chase her out of the city. On what offense? <laughs> On what offense exactly? Even if anybody should fight for that guy, not you. Because you lost out completely on the account of that fetish stupidity. Is that an insult or what? You can call it anything you want. But I am telling you the truth. Face your life and let that innocent girl be. Correct HIV. VIP. Hey, a booty in here. Judith, nice maker. Calm down. Pari pool with the hair. Respect yourself. Eh, what's it happen? I won't run my battery down. Eh? You come, they call me, they call me, they call me, they call me, they call me. What's it happen for you? Uh, Judith, um, after I sent the message for this meeting to you, I recall that you are not meant to be here. Why would she be here? She's part of the insulted ladies. So she should be here. I don't blame you. Now you get your mouth so you go fit you and yarn anything where you like. And you, listen to me. If they insult you, they no insult me. You they hear me so? She the last saying don't find person where you go marry. What did it come to a problem? Eh? Zukwa no no ni ke. Zukwa ni ke. Well, we are missing the point. Yeah. If he wants to go ahead with his plans, let him be. Mm -hmm. So, wait till you come to talk. Listen, we are here mm -hmm. to make a monetary demand from him. Yeah. All we want from him is just a little token. And does it? Well, um, there's no we and there's no us. I'm a different person, as you all can see. So please, I do not want any monetary settlement whatsoever because he has tried. I mean, he offered me that and I bluntly rejected it. So, what do you want? Ah, <sighs> Francis, thank you for that question. You're welcome. Thank you. Girls, please, girls, I need your support. I need your help so that he can get married to me. Huh? Yeah. Hey, Chideke. I try to make my girl come out to go. You could do that thing, but I'm not. Oh, you could do that thing. Me, you could do that for the girl. You want him to marry you? Hmm. This man don't tell you say you no know one marry. You be by force now. What they worry you? He use the mouth talk and say he don't see person where he go marry. Zuwike, rest. Ah ah, okay Judith, you are just a devil. He will not let devil. Please, let's not allow Judith to spoil our plans. Biko, listen. Hmm. All we need from Chidera is for him to settle us. At least thirty million naira. Each. Huh? Thank you. Yay. Clara, thank you so much for saying that. Exactly. Because as far as I'm concerned, Chidera remains the most successful fraudster in town. So, 
30 million naira each is nothing compared to the millions and billions of dollars, naira and pounds he has in his account. Exactly. So if he's able to provide this for us, we can let him be. And then he'll enjoy with his low life he got. Then no kiss you see, pray, 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 no begin I eat go go. Why you go come they call my shidella floster? Eh? The shidella where we know is not a floster. Shidela told me that uh, uh, he, he's doing a uh, internet, online, uh, uh, computer, whatever. whatever. Now you come to call him Floster. It's not a Floster. You don't hear me so? Uh uh. What did they worry you? See, if you now won't call them money from Shidela, me, I am not interested. Count me out. Okay, Judith, leave. Get out from here. Mm -hmm. I don't want you here. I need you to get out of my house now and please don't you ever step your feet into this place again. Get out. Go. Leave. Mm -hmm. Why are you, you saying that you get out now? You know, never tell this one get out. Never tell this one get out. Never. Why are you going to tell me get out? Because sir, they tell all of you not to. Mm -hmm. I can leave. Mm -hmm. Wife, I'm not leaving. Uh, Judith, Why use the door. Why do they call door. my phone? Phone. They call my phone. They down my battery. You don't know Abby. Leave this place, Judith. Now, Caterpillar go carry me come out for I'm here. I'm going to call the security. Eh, I will call the security. Where they're my own street. They go, one year man to man. You they hear me? Leave this so. place. See my bag. Straight from my fashion design house. No, I don't come. I know the girl you want. I'm going to call the police on you now. Tell Get out. Tell Get out. Tell Get out. Susan. No. Why did you refuse to answer the call from the ladies? Anyways. That's by the way, I'm here. So, knowing that you are the most successful fraudster in town, no doubt, we, the ladies, have decided that you will pay us the sum of 30 million naira each if you want your freedom. That will be just our settlement. Else, <laughs> you know what? And then you can be with the low life Ada, you've decided to get married to. <clears throat> if I want my freedom, just listen to yourself. It must be out of your mind. What did you smoke before coming here? Huh? I'm asking you. What did you smoke before coming to my house? Do you know who's standing before you? I made you who you are today, Susan. And this is how you pay me back. You call me the most successful fraudster in this town. Really? So that's how you see me? After all I've done for you. After all the time we spent together. So that's why you set me up, Susan. She sent a report to the police to arrest me, embarrass me and detain me. And you still have the guts to walk into my house and tell me this nonsense. You must be out of your mind. Then be rest assured that you are playing with fire, Chidera. Read my lips. I repeat, read my lips. I'm not here to joke. Okay? I'll make this town a living hell for you and that low life you want to get married to. I'm going to run you both into your deaths. You can bet with me on this. Hello, Mama Ada. No, no, no. I'm not fine, no. I'm not fine, no. There's fire on the mountain. Mama Ada, I've been trying to keep this thing to myself. I've been trying to keep this thing to myself. I don't just know how to keep it to myself. But I have to tell you, you're a mother that I don't want problems. I don't want problems, so I only need something good. Mama Ada, it's your daughter. It's your daughter, Ada, or oh, that is now something else. Honestly, she's something else. Calm down. No, calm down. Mamada, 
Ada has been following men up and down in this city. Is this what I brought her to do? I know she's an adult and I'm not her mother. That's why I'm calling you as her mother to please put her into place because everything is about to go wrong. Ada has gone to a man's house. As we speak now, she's now living in a man's house. It has gone so bad. I've tried to call her to order, but she cannot. That's why I'm calling you now to please bring your husband, Papa Ada. You people should do something, no. It's not now tomorrow if they kill her. You people will come after me. I am not the one. I just called her to come and walk. I want her... For I brought her for her betterment and nothing more. She's there with the man. I have... Don't worry. As I caught now, I'm going to send you his address. You need to come with Papa Ada. Come and bring Ada out. Oh, I've tried my best. I have prayed and fasted. Yet she's not listening. Please come and do your best too. Because as it is, that man looks like a criminal. He looks like a ritualist. I love Ada like my sister. Oh, I'm sending it to you now. I'll send it. Okay, okay. Make her white the sun shine. She's your daughter. Call the O. Bye bye. Hey. Yes. Stupid girl. Let me see how you're going to go to what doesn't belong to you. Bush idiots. Hi. I don't know so far. Nonsense. My name is Mbadiwe, the son of Alonta Okwele, the grandson of Akalugo of Idu. Are you the one who kidnapped my daughter? Kidnapped? <sighs> my son, please, don't be confused here. We are looking for Ada. Yes, someone directed us to this place. We are Ada's parents. Biko. You would have just said that. You would have just said you are looking for her. That he's just intimidating me with his Asian greeting of you do and all well. Yes. We are looking for our daughter. Okay, just say you are looking for her. One thing I like about that guy is that he understood the message for start. He called it kidnap and he promised that he would be there first thing in the morning. Babe. Honestly, I'm not happy with the allegation he sent to police against Chidera. As in, eh? Accusing a whole Chidera number. We all know what he does. How legitimate can he be? A froster. Man, that's gross. Wait, girls, I don't seem to understand you both now. Are you going to abandon me now? Babe, we are not stupid. You are taking the whole thing too far. Yeah. And we are not ready for it. Mm. I'm not in. Wait, you guys are not in. That means you, you're, you're actually backing out on me. Well, once again, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, please make yourselves very comfortable. If you need any other thing, let me know. I'll provide it. Mm -hmm. My son, you seem to be a nice person. <laughs> Why then would Susan call us and say you are camping our daughter in your house for sexual purposes? <laughs> It's not true. She lied against me, and I'll tell you why. I'll be very honest. Um, Susan used to be my girlfriend, but I never promised her marriage. We only dated until I met Ada, your daughter. Ada is the one I want to marry. I told Susan, and of course, it didn't go down well with her. She's jealous. That's why she told you those lies. So, are you going to vow on your honor that you have not exposed our daughter to some sort of immoral lifestyle? Never. Never, sir. Not only will I vow, I'm ready to swear. Anywhere you want to take me to, I'll swear. I've never done anything like that. I've been nice to her. As we speak, Ada is almost rounding up her admission into the university, sponsored by me. Yes. I'm also opening a supermarket for her. I want her to be running the supermarket while she's going to school. So I've been nice to her. 
Are you serious? Serious. I cannot lie. I'm very serious. Ada is a wonderful person. She's mm. a very good girl. In fact, um, Ada and I were planning to you know, break the news to both of you officially soon. She's a wonderful person. Yes, mm. I want to marry her. In fact, Ada is a God-sent angel in my life. She is right in my house. Sir. She doesn't even stay in my room. She has her own room. I had mine. We don't sleep in the same room. Yes, that is the other I trained. Hi. No, mm. I told you that something was fishing in Susan's call. Thank God, though. Thank God you didn't involve police you know, in this case. Oh. Eh? My son, God bless you. Hi! That is why you are a wife. And I'm very happy to have listened to you. Hi. <laughs> I so thank you. Ah. Look at that. Hey. My yes. daughter. Ada, I am very, very proud to have you. Thank you so much, Mama. So, I know this discussion has been about me. So, what did I miss? What is all this? Like, I don't even get it. Huh? How is it my business? As far as I'm concerned, you are not making sense because I did not commit any offense. Why am I here? Just listen to this voice. Knowing that you are the most successful fraudster in town, no doubt, we, the ladies, have decided that you will pay us the sum of 30 million naira each if you want your freedom. That will be just our settlement. Else, <laughs> you know what? And then you can be with the low life at that if you've decided to get married to. <coughs> you must be out of your mind. Then be rest assured that you are playing with fire, Chidera. Read my lips. I repeat, read my lips. I'm not here to joke. Okay? I'll make this town a living hell for you and that low life oh, you want to get married to. Officer, come on. It's, it's nothing. It, it, it was just a mere threat so I, I could know if you increase the offer. It's nothing serious. Believe me. I didn't mean it. It's, it's nothing. I, I could not get that. You have exposed yourself to the other side of the law. You are going to sign an undertaking here. That if anything happens to Chidera and Umba and Ada, you are the initiator. Please, officer, I can't sign anything because, okay, what if one of his many, many um, enemies come after him? What will happen? I'm not the one. How can I sign what I don't know? You are the only enemy they know for now. You are the only enemy. And you, you are going to sign the undertaking. Or I will detain you the, when you are ready to sign it. It was just a threat. I, I swear, I didn't do anything. You will sign the undertaking. Chidera, Mama. Mama. Make it a much good that you have started making it in life. Hmm? As you have started making money now, the next thing that should come to your mind is to find a woman and make her your wife. Exactly what I'm thinking, Mama. But women can be a good distraction to me. In my line of business. And I want to get married to avoid distraction. Good. Because what I'm saying this is if you try marry a wrong woman, she will send you back to zero level. You will not be able to achieve your full potential in life. You are confusing me, mother. Mm -mm. I'm not really confusing you, but trying to make things good. Though I do not have money to give you, but I'll give you a gift of a wife. The woman for you will be the one wearing this bracelet. Any woman that will be wearing this cannot be my wife. Chidera, don't be deceived with physical looks. Biko. The woman for you might not come with physical class, 
But she has that class that is connected to the ancestors of your family. Biko Gay Monte. Don't make decision yet, Chidera. Decide when you see her wearing this bracelet. Make her your wife. If you make her your wife, you will see her manifesting to those classes. Even the one that the classes that you never expect. Biko. They round them, Biko. Papa called them. Biko. What am I? Don't go back again now. Oh, don't go back again. It's nice, but it does wonders. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Don't worry. I, I have all the time in the world to drink anything you prepare for me. I know, but I must you let the ailment clean our people harm you. If only you drink anything I serve you diligently, you won't die young. I will. Anything at all you serve me. I will take it, I promise. <laughs> you are a gift from the gods. Yes, a very special gift from the gods, given to me by my mother. Accept to be my wife, and you'll make me a fulfilled man. And once you do that, I promise you, in fact, I swear, by my mother's grave, I will love you forever. Ah, uh, hey, you're the one for me, the woman of my dreams. Now I feel, I, all the girls are gone, but I wanna be with you. You are the chosen one. I die. I'm searching no one. I wanna be with you because you're the one for me. I, because I have chosen you, I come be my wife. Let's be happy together. Because I have chosen you. 